In this video, I'm going to strip a 124 gram GoPro Hero 8 down to 30 grams to be carried by a micro drone. I'd like to thank Tronics Fix for generously donating his broken Hero 8. He got as far as removing the front cover and I'm going to take it from here. Look for a link to his video in the description to see how he got it off. We'll be replacing the shell with this 3D printed case made by iFlight and we'll piggyback this board to add buttons and provide power from the flight battery. Before we do that, we need to pair the camera to our phone because we'll be removing the screen. This way, you can still change the settings and use the live preview. Tell the camera you'll be connecting a device using the GoPro app. Download the GoPro app to your phone, add a new device, and follow the prompts until you've got a successful connection. This is optional, but I highly recommend downloading the GoPro Labs firmware. Copy the update folder to the root directory of your micro SD card, put it in the camera, and turn it on. This process takes just a couple minutes, and when it's done, you'll be able to change all your settings with the GoPro QR Control app. Since GoPro removed the ProTune settings from their app, this is a great way to maintain finer control of your camera. Now, let's finish taking this apart. Remove the battery and carefully slide the front board out. Don't pull too hard, because you've got to disconnect three ribbon cables and a wire harness. Keep in mind that there were a number of screws holding this board in, but they've already been removed. This black sticker was stuck to the back of the camera sensor, but I already peeled it off. You'll need a very tiny Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws around the main board. And I couldn't find the right bit for these two screws, but a tiny flat head worked. Remove the plastic cover, carefully pop off the camera sensor connector, and remove the waterproofing ring. You've got two more connectors to pop off the bottom of the board, and then you'll just need to peel this tape off. Now the board should be free. You may need to apply a little leverage to pry it off the casing and be very careful not to damage any of the components. You'll need to remove two more screws to free the camera sensor. One is hidden under the ribbon cable, so be careful not to damage it. Next, we'll remove the front display. This is optional, but it's helpful to have. Don't do what I did here. I didn't soften the glue enough and used a metal tool. Fortunately, I had a spare from a Hero 6 I opened up. I did this off camera, but this is basically how I did it. You'll want to apply a heat gun to the back of the display to soften the glue. The display may become dark when you do this, but it'll recover. Worst case, you can buy a new display on eBay for $20. Now let's connect the power board. Match up the connectors to the board, and it should just click into place. Make sure all three connectors are properly seated. The top doesn't seem to be a perfect fit, but it'll seat with a little pressure. Plug the camera sensor back onto the board, as well as the front display. You may want to apply some hot glue onto the front display connector though. It kept disconnecting on me. Carefully feed the back of the sensor through the back of the case and slide the main board into position. Pay attention to the metal standoff in the corner so it doesn't snag against the camera lens. You'll feel it when you've got it. It should just slide snugly into the case. Now the kit comes with two types of screws. Here you'll want to use the shorter ones in these five particular mounting holes. Now, you don't want the display to cause any shorts, so cover the back with electrical tape. I had a really hard time getting this display working properly, so this may require a little trial and error. The case positions the display a little too low, so I needed to apply a small drop of hot glue under the ribbon cable to prevent it from getting pinched. It's also a challenge to get the display level, so don't screw everything together before you test it. Once you've got the display level, you can use the longer screws to put the front cover on. Test it again because I had issues with the front display only after screwing it on. The ribbon cable is very sensitive and you need to get it just right to work properly. Finally, you can pop the last piece onto the back of the camera sensor and you're done. Here I'm powering it through a forest balance lead of a LiPo battery. Check my other video for instructions on how to make that adapter. Otherwise, you can solder the plug to your flight controller to power it through your drone. Finally, to test the QR control app, set your preferred camera profile and put the QR code directly in front of the sensor. You'll see the changes reflected on the front display as well as a blink of the red LED. Now let's weigh it in. This one is coming in at 30 grams. Here it is on my Beta 95X V2. I printed a mount which offers any number of camera angles. With a 4S 550 milliamp hour LiPo, the all-up weight is 224 grams. This allows for about three minutes of flight and you should be able to squeak in under 250 grams with a 650 milliamp hour pack. Now for some flight footage. This was recorded at 2.7K and passed through Real Steady Go. Personally, I prefer this stabilization to HyperSmooth 2.0, but it's great to have both options. The Hero 6 has been the most popular choice for a naked GoPro, but with a diminishing supply, the Hero 8 is, in my opinion, the best choice. 
I think the processor and firmware simply produce a better picture. Plus, you don't need to buy Real Steady Go to get some pretty decent stabilization. I'd like to thank Steve at Tronix Fix for generously donating this camera. And while I didn't fix the camera, I repurposed it for a very cool application. If you don't want to tear open a fully functional Hero 8, buy a broken one. As long as it records and the display somewhat works, you can make one of these for your drone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.